All right, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about some new features that will be coming in update 8.4. Now these features are going to be related to the 60TP and the Polish Heavy Tank line. They are going to be new consumables and new provisions. Now, I do not know if these are going to be on any other tanks besides the Polish heavy tanks. I would highly doubt that they're going to be on any other tanks. Wargaming hasn't done that in the past when they add new consumables. If they add them to other tanks, it's usually in future updates where they figure out, you know, how well those consumables, you know, help the tank. And then they apply that to a tank they think needs maybe some more uh, diverse gameplay or just a little bit of help without actually buffing the tank in particular. So there are three or really four uh, different uh, consumables and provisions that we are going to be talking about in this video. The first one here, which is arguably the most controversial and the most overpowered, is going to be tungsten shells. So what these do is, all right, so these change your, um, so you have an average uh, damage of your gun. So let's look here, the M46 patent. We have 350 average damage per shot. Now, the range of the damage you can actually do is anywhere between 75% of that number and 170, 125% of that number, excuse me. And what this is going to do is change that to 105% to 125% for 20 seconds. So basically this is going to make you high roll every single shot in that 20 second time period. So you should be able to get off two, if you're in a quicker reload tank, three shots in that time period where you are going to high roll um, and be close to max rolling almost every single shot, which is gonna help a lot. Something like this, I'll be rolling in the four, like 400, uh, basically every single shot instead of 350, which is gonna give me quite a bit more DPM right there. That's like buffing the alpha by like 30 or 40, you know? That's quite a, a big buff here. And if it was something like, it's not gonna be in this tank, uh, like I said, but if, let's say it's in something like the 183, you're slapping on some Hesh, you're going to be doing 1,300, 1,400 damage every single shot instead of like the, you know, 11, 12, 1,300 that it normally seems to be. So that's quite an OP thing. And this will be, like I said, on the Polish heavy tank line. So the heavy tank, uh, the 60 TP has 600 alpha, I do believe. So you'd be rolling like high 600s, uh, maybe like almost 700, maybe max roll sometimes even that... Uh, or around, you know, 700, and what is it? The max roll of the 600 alpha gun is like 750, I believe. So you might be getting into those low 700s as well. So that's buffing it by quite a bit. So that's the first one, quite controversial. It's a pretty OP one there. And personally, I mean, since I haven't seen it in battle yet, I think it's actually quite interesting. I kind of like it. Um, now, I have a friend who definitely does not like it, um, but I definitely think these are interesting. They're probably a little OP. I'm not sure if Wargaming will nerf these or not, like they did the engine power boost, but it seems a little overpowered to me, just basically making you have more alpha for the uh, 20 seconds it's activated. Now, the second one, let's move on to the second one here. This one is, none of these next ones are quite as good or interesting, but they're still worthy of talking about. The next one is improved gunpowder. Now, this is going to make your shell velocity 35% faster. Now this is a provision, so it will be lasting the entire game. It's not something like a consumable that will have 20 seconds and then like a 90 second recharge time. This is gonna be the whole game. And 35% faster is quite a bit. That is a lot. Uh, that's actually gonna be very helpful in my opinion. If you have something with slow shell velocity, like I'm not sure what the shell velocity on the 50 TP, or excuse me, the 60 TP is, but let's say it's slow. If you do 35% more, that is going to become a uh, pretty fast shell velocity. And this is going to help you a lot on long distance shots against a moving tank. You don't have to worry about that lead as much. You're not going to have to lead out your shell as much, which makes it much easier to aim. So that is going to be quite helpful in my opinion. Next up, we have gear oil and improved gear oil. These as well will last the entire game. These are provisions. So the first one, gear oil, is basically just the not as good version, which is going to be 3% more to engine power and plus 2 km an hour to your top speed forwards and backwards. So, you know, it's okay. It's nothing great. The real, the, the one that I actually think is pretty decent here is going to be improved gear oil. 6% to your engine power and 4%, um, sorry, not 4%, 4 kilometers an hour to your speed forwards and backwards. And especially for me, this backwards speed, let's say you're only going like 
15 backwards. If you go in four kilometers an hour quicker backwards, you're going to be going almost 20, which is quite quick reverse speed for a tank, especially a heavy tank. So I actually think these are going to be pretty useful consumables here, especially if you're up to top speed. You just hit this and you're going to instantly go up another four kilometers an hour quicker, which is going to be quite helpful uh, in a lot of situations. And especially, I'm not sure if they uh, will be able to do this, but if you could add uh, to it the engine power boost on top of gear oil, that would be a very OP combination. You would be able to move around the battlefield quite quickly. So yeah, that is basically all the new consumables and provisions Wargaming should be adding here in Update 8.4, which if you do not know, should be dropping on the 20th. I am uh, pretty sure it's around the 20th. I'm trying to think here. That What day is it? It's, it's the... What, what even is the day now? Okay, so it's the 15th. So uh, I'm trying to do math in my head right now, and this is not going well. Hang on one second. Yeah, that's a Wednesday. All right, sorry that took so long. So that is a Wednesday. That is normally when Wargaming drops their updates. So it should be dropping on the 20th of this month. Um, and as well, the event is starting on the 22nd, so it has to drop before that event. So anytime in the next week, it has to drop because otherwise the event will not be able to uh, come out because, of course, I am I think this is how it works. That event is like pit into the update, so they can't do the event unless the update comes out. That's why updates already come always come out before an event happens. So should be around the 20th when these things drop along with the new line, which I'm very excited for. It looks like a lot of fun. I will be grinding that as quickly as possible, maybe even grinding it on a stream. I could be doing a stream where I try to get the, all those tanks unlocked or at least as many as I can. And of course, I will have reviews on all those tanks as quickly as I get them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to stay tuned for those videos in the future, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.